And this is the title, Digitized Counterdivati Quantum Algorithms. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you for, uh, for your introduction and uh, uh, thank you the, the organizer to give me the opportunity to present our work about this digitalized content, diabetic driving. I come from the uh, University of Basque Country in Spain. And uh, today I will talk about this uh, counter diabetic driving, which is one of the, the main methods in the shortcut to adiabaticity. In the previous talk in this conference, you have heard about this shortcut to adiabaticity uh, to speed up the adiabatic process with the uh, application in the quantum control, in the quantum annealing, also the adiabatic quantum computing. Here I will uh, give some brief introduction of this background and other things, and I will focus on the digital uh, adiabatic quantum computing, and also I apply this uh, uh, particularly counter diabetic in the terms uh, to speed up the quantum algorithm to do the quantum optimization. And my talk will, be, uh, will end uh, uh, up with some uh, brief conclusion and also perspective. Okay, as you know that, uh, okay, we are living in the NIST area with the decoherence in the different uh, device. Meanwhile, in the quantum control, uh, we need the, the precise and fast uh, control of the quantum state or state preparation in the different uh, application with respect to the quantum information processing, uh, quantum simulations, and the quantum technology. That's why we need the shortcut to adiabaticity because as we know that uh, the diabetic uh, uh, conditions uh, allowed us to stay, uh, uh, allowed to evolve the state uh, along the instantaneous eigenstate when the adiabatic condition is fulfilled. Uh, but uh, as you know that uh, we, uh, uh, in the presence of the noise or the decoherence, other things, and then maybe the, the adiabatic uh, solution will be destroyed by them. That's why we need to speed up the adiabatic process, which means that we want to mimic the adiabatic process, but within the short time. That's why in the 2020, I proposed with my colleague about this concept, particularly applying these things in atomic cooling. And then later people develop a lot of method showing the same concept. For instance, the microbrary developed this transitionist driving and uh, um, uh, Masuda developed the fast forward. You have been uh, discussed in the conference uh, also learned the concept. Here I will focus on the, the counter-diabatic driving because I will use that in the adiabatic algorithm. Uh, and as you know that, okay, this counter-diabatic driving can consider as the diabatic gauge of potential, which can be useful to cancel the, the internal force when we accelerate the force. You can read this uh, picture. And based on the various transition driving, and we can diagnose Hamiltonian and get this term, uh, get this term, sorry. And uh, this is what we call the uh, uh, transition with driving. And uh, in the rice papers, they call the counter diabetic driving. I also apply these things for the atomic physics uh, in 2010. And uh, it's good, but uh, somehow when we diagnose the Hamiltonian, which means that uh, uh, we solve the problem. That's why this uh, method could be problematic uh, in the uh, mini-body uh, system. And uh, recently, uh, the people developed uh, this counter diabetic driving. For instance, they consider approximate gauge potential, and they minimize the, the actions, and the, to, they, they uh, estimated or calculated approximate gauge potential uh, by using this ANSAS. And uh, uh, modif uh, inspired by the Fukit engineering, somehow they can also write down uh, the, the approximate gauge potential in this uh, commutators, uh, commutators, then they can calculate this uh, uh, approximate gauge transformation. With this works, we say that, okay, we can design the counter diabetic driving in many body system without uh, uh, diagonal Hamiltonian. That's the advantage. 
Okay, here I just want to list some experiment regarding this counter-diabetic driving in the, in the atomic physics in MV center, two-level system and three-level system. This is for the trapped ion transport. This is called atom, I collaborated with the Chinese group. And also recently they developed this local counter-diabetic driving and to do the, the experiment implementation in the spin chain. Uh, this is the main uh, experiment result. Let's coming back to the main issue about the, the adiabatic quantum computing, because you have already know that I just mentioned these things. Uh, in principle, we can use the, the adiabatic process to connect the, the initial Hamiltonian to the final Hamiltonian. We can, uh, in principle, encode the, any uh, problems in this uh, way, in this adiabatic quantum computing. And uh, normally, uh, we need the, the long, uh, uh, stay a uh, long time for the state evolution because we want to uh, avoid the transition. And the total running time depends on the minimal uh, energy gaps, as, as we know. And uh, uh, also in 2016, uh, the, the Google the teams also developed this idea about the digital adiabatic quantum computing. Uh, the, the main idea is that they write on the, the time evolution operators and do the totalization, and we can digitalize these uh, time evolution operators, and we can do the things in the in the superconducting circuit, yes? And uh, so we want to combine these two things, whether we can use the, the counter adiabatic driving in the digitalized uh, adiabatic quantum computing to speed up it. Because uh, uh, as we know that the adiabatic uh, uh, shortcut can speed up the, the adiabatic process. So uh, we do that. First of all, we just uh, provide uh, the, the heuristic example. Let's see, look at the, the, the spin one half, single spin with time dependent magnetic field. And uh, normally we can calculate the CD term very easily. And we can uh, flip the spin from the, uh, around the X direction initially and to the spin down. And we can write on the, the Hamiltonian for this uh, single problem. Uh, we just choose the let functions, and we can write on the total Hamiltonian with the local CD term. And for the two-level system, this is nothing but the sigma y terms. And uh, then we do the, uh, the totalization, and we do the uh, experiment in the IBM acoustic, and we saw the result. And very simple, we see that, okay, the, the C is with the CD term, somehow we can achieve the, the high fidelity within the short time. And uh, without CD term, normally the adiabatic condition is broke down, then we will not get the, the high fidelity. So that's the, the main result. And then we can go uh, uh, beyond this uh, single, uh, simple model and go to the look at the, the, uh, the spin, uh, easing spin model by using the local CD term. And we write on the problem Hamiltonian and we calculate the, the seed, local CD term from the very method, which means that we diagonal Hamiltonian because this is simple. And uh, we can also use the, the, the local CD term calculated from the variational approach. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, and we can compare to the result. This is the, the local CD term from the various method. And then this is the local CD term from the variational method. And uh, first of all, we just checked the two qubits and we see the, the, the better performance. And we also go to the, the, the five qubit, we see the difference. And we, uh, with increasing the, the, the system size, which means that we increase the, the qubits and the fidelity was not good because this local CD term will be more um, approximate. So uh, even when we uh, increase the, the in, uh, interaction G and how to deal with that, we go to use the, the, uh, the approximate gauge uh, uh, potential by using the nested commutator for instance, for, for the nested L equals to one, we really see the, the better solution when we prepare the, the bare state 
and we also go to the, the DHC state, we increase the, the number of the qubit by increase the high order nested computer. Somehow we see that the fidelity improve a bit, but of course we can also keep the high order uh, nested computer to improve that, but it will increase the, the, the complexity of the, the circuit. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, but uh, for at a certain point uh, and uh, the nested computers improve the, the, the fidelity. And this is for sure. And uh, in spite of this, uh, by this result, somehow we apply to the different uh, scenarios. For instance, uh, the, the flexorization and also the, the QAOA and also a, a different approximation. Recently, we also applied the, the meta learning uh, for the QAOA uh, for the initial uh, parameters. And here I just want to list some uh, few examples about the, uh, the application. For instance, the adiabatic quantum fractalization, and we can write on the problem like this, and uh, uh, then encode the solution of minimal problem in the ground state of the Hamiltonian. We can write on the Hamiltonian. By introducing this, uh, the, oper the spin operators, finally the Hamiltonian can be written on this way, but it could be mm, difficult to implement because it will include uh, the, uh, the, the four body interactions. But in, and then we, we move to the uh, multiplication, the table method, and we write down this uh, fractalization uh, equations after classical pre, uh, processing, and we can get the, the, the cost function, and we can write on the Hamiltonian, and we, we can calcul always calculate the, 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 the counter diabetic driving uh, by using the definition, and we can see how speed up it. But it can be difficult because it increases the minibody interaction. And then uh, we can also uh, check the, the, the different cases. For instance, with fractalization, uh, the, the small number uh, experimented in the IBM quantum computing, and we see the, the profile of the CD term, and we see the solution, uh, which is uh, good. And uh, very surprisingly, for the small numbers, we only need uh, the two total steps by using the, the, the counter diabetic driving. And uh, of course, uh, when we go to the, 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 uh, the, the larger numbers, somehow we can choose the, the different uh, operator powers. And, uh, but here, as I said that, uh, we can only keep one or two spin interactions because many body uh, interactions uh, will be problematic. So we choose these things uh, and the put the coefficients as three parameters and we can optimize or the, the fix later. And we compare to the result by using different answers, uh, local CD term and the two body interactions and compare to the nested computers, uh, the first order and we see the performance uh, with respect to the uh, different uh, successful probability. And we can also uh, check uh, how this uh, CD terms improve the, the QAOA. And uh, here, the idea is that uh, uh, instead of the 2P parameters, we can introduce the, the, the parameters for the, for the counter diabetic driving, and we use the classical optimizer to do the iteration to find the, the the, the minimal energy. This is the typical here. We introduce the, the CD term. Of course, as I mentioned that we can also use the recurrent neural network and the, to training the initial parameters and to improve the, the, the QAOA. And we, I want to show the result here. And we, use, uh, we consider the easing spin model and we calculate the counter diabetic driving, uh, just uh, keeping the, the, uh, the, the local CD term and the two body interaction. And we find the, the, the solution uh, for the longitudinal field easing model and the transversal easing model. We see that the counter diabetic driving is always better. And we also check the, the, how the, the, the counter diabetic driving uh, improve the, the GHC, the entangled state of preparation. And here, we, I just listed the uh, parameters. Of course, we can also apply the listings for the classical optimization program. For instance, we calculate the three regular max cut problem and also the SP model. We really see the result. And uh, I, 
because at the time I just okay, if you are interesting, we, you can also check the reference here. And of course, we can also apply these things for the quantum chemistry, for instance, to find in the ground state of the hydrogen atoms, and we can write on the Hamiltonian, and we can calculate the CD term and to achieve the, the speed up. And recently, I noticed that in Chinese groups, and they also implement this idea uh, for finding the, the ground state for the uh, hydro atoms. And it could be very interesting to extend to the larger molecular. And uh, here, I just want to give you one slide how to understand these things. We can write on the spin glass Hamiltonian and write on the CD term. Here, we calculated the energy spectrum, and you will see that somehow this CD terms enlarge a bit the, the energy gap, which means that we can speed up it, okay? And the other, in other things that, how to understand the law of the CD term. And the CD term is a non statistic cast and somehow it will help the, the system uh, to, to, to converge the, the final ground state. And that's the, the law. Here I want to conclusion uh, my talk. Uh, we introduced the, the, the counter gamma driving, which is the, the means uh, we can introduce the arbitrary interaction. We can uh, implement this uh, non-statistic uh, Hamiltonian interaction. And uh, this result will be consistent with the error corrections and can be developers in our uh, setup uh, or our algorithm. And here, the good result is that by introducing the counter diaba driving, somehow we can shorten the, the operation time. And the meanwhile, we can reduce the, the gate count uh, in, the, in the quantum circuit. And here, uh, the good advantage is that we use the approximate CD terms, which means that we don't require the, 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 the knowledge of the Hamiltonian energy span. We don't need to, to diagnose Hamiltonian first, and we use this uh, adiabatic gauge potential to estimate the CD term. And the, the counter energy driving somehow also give us the, the better answers or reach the, the answer support uh, to, to adapt the, the, uh, the, the ground state, uh, which can be applied to the variational uh, eigensolver or the QAOA. And then later, we can also consider some fundamental question, also application uh, with some uh, perspective. For instance, we can optimize the counter diaba driving by using the circuit learning, by using the reinforced machine, uh, machine learning, and uh, here I also uh, consider how to implement this counter divided uh, uh, quantum algorithm in the NISCI devices, for instance, photonic chips or the superconducting qubits or the trapped ion. For instance, for two body interaction or even many body interaction, it could be difficult for the for the photonics chip, but uh, somehow we can restrict it to the two body and apply the machine learning to optimize the core efficiency and to see how we improve the, the, the implementation. And uh, there um, uh, must be some fundamental question as well. For instance, uh, there are always uh, um, interesting to look at the total errors, adiabatic errors, also the, the problem, the trade off between the complicity of the each total steps and uh, with respect to the, the time with uh, other things. Then uh, a lot of uh, interesting problem, uh, we should understand why this counter diabetic works better and uh, how to improve that. Apart from the, this uh, uh, result in our group, so we also uh, interested in some machine learning. For instance, uh, we applied uh, this uh, active learning for retrieving the, the quantum information. We also applied the reinforced machine learning for the qubit control and uh, in presence of the noise. Also, we applied uh, the recurrent neural work uh, to improve the, the bosine condensations uh, control uh, in the random uh, environment. So if you are interested, you can also check the, the web page here. Uh, we have some results there. Okay, so finally, thank you for your attention. I, I would like to thank the, the teams in Bilbao, also some collaboration from the Shanghai University and Kusurano and the, the uh, Naraha. Uh, we, we have the team to develop this uh, uh, digital counter diabetic quantum algorithm. Thank you for your attention.
Thanks. We have time for one quick question. Okay, maybe I can ask a question actually. I was always wondering <clears throat> when you um, have to engineer the counter adiabatic terms, I mean, things that need to be, are there any results on the, um, how difficult that is? that could be to, um, to find the right terms to speed up, so okay. in, in general. Mm -hmm. that, that's a good question. So, so uh, historically, this, this uh, counter budget driving uh, was proposed by the RICE uh, in the United States. They apply these uh, things in the three-level system to speed up the, the steer up. And later, the Michael Berry formulated these things that he called uh, transitionless driving. But in that uh, uh, time, uh, one has to diagnose Hamiltonian. We, as you know, it is difficult to find the, the, the express. Of course, you can always diagnose Hamiltonian, but for the adiabatic quantum computing, if you diagnose it, you mean you have already solved the problem. You have solved the it's problem. Not yeah. to use these things to speed up. But as I said that, uh, recently uh, people produced in the PIL and the PNAS papers, so somehow they borrowed the concept from the, the classical mechanics, they call the diabetic uh, uh, gauge potential. Somehow you can use this uh, uh, counter diabetic to compensate this internal force was when you speed up. Then with this concept, somehow they assume this uh, uh, gauge potential as the answers and you don't need to find the exact CD term and you don't need to diagnose Hamilton. And the uh, benefit from this uh, estimated things Somehow we can apply these uh, uh, things in the adiabatic uh, quantum computing. We don't need to uh, diagnose. Even we don't need uh, the exact expression. And mm. we can use the answers from the, the, the diabetic uh, gauge potential and uh, optimize the coefficients by using different methods. As I said, that you can use machine learning, circuit learning to do that. This is what uh, we are doing now. Yeah. OK. Thank you. Okay, um, let's thank the speaker again and let's go for the coffee break.